Hi everyone and welcome to a new video about Azure API Center. Azure API Center is your centralized API inventory solution that brings together API discovery, API consumption and API design governance. It doesn't matter where your API is deployed, you can easily register any kind of API. Azure API Center is a tool for API admins and API developers. And today we are going to chat about how API developers and API admins can work together using Azure API Center. The scenario is that I'm currently building out my ASP.NET Web API, my classic weather API. I implemented two different controllers and while building out my Web API, I also auto-generated my Open API specification. In the API spec, I provided a bunch of information such like developer contact details. Let's quickly test my API first via localhost. And I can see the Swagger UI and also the operations I implemented. All right, so now as an API developer, I want to make sure my API is registered in Azure API Center because I want to make sure other developers are aware of my API for transparency and reusability reasons. For this, I'm opening my API Center VS Code extension, where I can see and find all the APIs that have already been registered. So next, I quickly want to register my new API. For this, I'm using our API Center CLI extension that will quickly register the API the API version, the API definition, and it will also upload my API specification. So now, whenever I hit refresh API Center in VS Code, I'm able to find the newly added API. As a developer, I would like to explore this API. So for this, we currently have three options. Export API spec, open API documentation. You can also generate an HTTP file, which is another way to explore and test my API and get information like body response right here in my IDE. So now let's take a look at API Center from an API admin perspective. For this, I'm going to switch to the Azure portal. Via the API tab, you're able to see all of the APIs as well. Because as an API admin, you don't always have time to check for updates in the Azure portal. So for this, I customized a logic app flow. This logic app flow will send out a Teams message every time a new API has been registered. There are a lot of ways how you can display these Teams messages. I provided, for example, a link to my Azure API Center, but I also added two actions. Let me check on my API governance first. In Azure API Center, we have a concept called metadata, where you can define custom information that you would like to store on top of your APIs. We support different data types and you can configure whatever information is needed within your organization. You can check out your API in more detail and via the overview tab, you can easily find, first of all, built-in metadata, but also custom metadata. I can now go and I can edit it, for example. Another great governance feature in API Center is API analysis. API analysis checks out your API conformance and will validate if your API specifications are following customized rules and guidelines. As you can see, my newly registered API is showing some error and warning messages. Via the API Analysis Report tab, you are able to find a more detailed report on your API compliance. Because as an API admin, I want them to be resolved. So I will contact my API developer. I can write up a short message to send to my developer and just quickly hit the send button. This will continue my logic app flow. It will send out a message to my API developer. In my Teams message, I included a link to my API Center rule set because sometimes, you know, developers might not even be aware about it. For our API analysis feature, we are using Spectral as an open source API linting engine. As a developer, I can now switch back to VS Code and use the provided rules to locally test them against my open API specs.
I'm using the VS Code extension to set my active style guides. And now I'm able to see the same error and same warning messages my API admin has previously seen in the Azure portal, but now I can see them in VS Code. Let me use GitHub Copilot that will help me resolve these issues. And I can immediately see that now I'm not seeing any error warning messages. All right, next, let me upload a new API version to API Center. For this, I'm using our CLI to register a new version, a new definition, and finally upload my API specification. As soon as I've done this, I can mark this action completed. This will again trigger another Teams message that will send out a notification to a My API admin. This way I can make sure everything is automated. As an API admin, I can now check again in the Azure portal and I can seek out the latest version uploaded. I can now see that I don't have any more error or warning messages with this new API version. Mm -hmm.